and welcome to St Andrews on a quite cold and blustery day as we said, but a beautiful St Andrews on the east coast of Scotland. Uh, we're here because um, Scottish Wedding Directory would like to give you a show around this venue here. This is Hotel du Vin and Bistro in St Andrews. Now one of the things you'll notice about this hotel is that it's a comparatively unassuming facade. It seems like quite a small hotel, but hidden within are some treats and we want to show them to you. So come and join us as we have a look around. Now at the top of the stairs here, um, protected from the wind, it has to be said, is Diana. Let me flip you can meet her. Hello, good morning. good morning, how good morning. are you? Very well, thank you, yourself? Cool. Yes, <laughs> it's a little bit busy this now, morning. Now <laughs> Diana looks after the events here, so she's going to give us a tour around Hotel de Vin. So do you want to show us inside? Yeah, come on in. Warm in here. It's nice and cozy. <laughs> so um, here we have the Macallan boardroom, um, small intimate room, um, unfortunately in use this morning. Um, but um, our um, writer Katie was here this, uh, at the weekend and said it was a beautiful space. Correct. Quite small, small uh, intimate, room, of 20. 20. Yeah, absolutely, um, but obviously makes the most of, of the view, yeah. uh, which is obviously quite key. <laughs> Come on through. Oh, let's look at that view though. <laughs> look at that. Right out across the sea. So, so pretty. And the light in here is lovely. Yeah. Now, can you actually get married in here? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So, um, ceremony or, or the wedding breakfast, um, either or. Yeah. Um, depending on numbers, we can do about 60 in here for the ceremony, so quite a nice size. And the, the, the light's just beautiful. Flooding in the windows. <laughs> it makes a difference on a day like this. It's quite light and bright. Yeah. Lovely. I know the view is so. Uh, someone's just going to see the view is incredible. It really is. Look at this. <laughs> Let's look at it one more time. And by the way, obviously, if you have questions, either from me from Scottish Wedding Directory or for Diana here from Hotel Tova, just pop them in the comments and we'll see them. We can we can um, make sure you get them answered. But even just this is such a such a lovely little space to get married in. You're saying capacity of about sixty, you think? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Um, and again, you know, we can use that space here for um, you know, signing the register and things like that. So you've got your photographs in the backdrop. So that was that space there. That Diana was pointing out. Um, nice few places for getting the register signed. Obviously, these tables all come out. Absolutely, everything comes out. Yeah. Um, and then obviously, you know, you can you can add your own touch with chair covers or you know flowers, etc. Um, and really kind of change the space. I get that. That's a lovely wee nook there as well for sort of bridesmaids to congregate. Absolutely, and... yeah. <laughs> oh, it's really sweet. And again, catching the photographs of the back backdrop as well. Here. Yeah. Catching them, so great. Magic. What's next? Next, let's head to the bar. <laughs> Everyone needs a bar at the wedding. So we're going to come through Pestering for you um, and into our main bar. This is our cocktail bar. Well stocked. Yes, always. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is a bit early, but you know, just my hour. <laughs> it's never too early. <laughs> never too early. Um, and then we're going to head through. We've got an extra addition, additional space um, in here, um, a little bit lighter and brighter. So again, get best of both worlds. Um, so someone's asking about an outside space, and there absolutely. certainly is. <laughs> so we can make this door here. And we've got this little area, and we're talking about sort of fifty people here comfortably. Yeah, absolutely, and again, gives us an opportunity for you know drinks over spill. Um, you can get married out here as well if you wish. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little hidden garden. You were saying earlier that these doors here open up, don't they? That's right. Yeah. Oops. So we open up right here, um, and obviously close the bar right the way through into the outside area again. So yeah. Bigger space to use. So you can you can use that whole space through. So folk that are a wee bit. Uh, more hard they can come outside, whereas other folk can stay inside and stay nice and cosy. The heaters help as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's, there's, there's space heaters I can see here. But again, you're saying all this stuff here can come out and we can absolutely. dress this space yeah, however, folk, however folk want. Lovely. 
Okay, let's go on through. It's a really cosy wee snug space as well, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And again, for you know, we can move around the furniture in here um, or, you know, um, just make the most of, of what we have. So there's lots of, lots of different options for everything. Yeah. Um, we do offer the hotel as an exclusive hire as well. So again, people can take the whole space, um, you know, uh, completely. So there's no other guests within the hotel on their wedding day, which Magic. again is a nice touch. So we're going to head through towards the ballroom. A ballroom? Yeah, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> you wouldn't expect that when you see this, the venue no, from exactly. outside. Um, Quite deceiving once you come inside. Um, one of my favourite little areas, the little foyer area, it's for people to utilise. Um, uh, drinks receptions or you know sweetie carts, photo booths, all oh, these yeah. all these crazy things that we have. Um, or again, just you know a, a space for for Granny to get away from the music if she wants. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice, be quiet but, yeah, space, isn't it? Absolutely. All right, show me this ballroom. I don't quite believe you. <laughs> so this is our silken suite. Um, and, uh... Wow. So what's the capacity in here? About 100 maybe? So yeah, we can do 110 for the sit down um, and then we say 150 for evening reception. Um, again, it depends on the format of, of the day. Uh, we can do 120 or thereabouts for um, the ceremony as well if you want to be married in here too. And what options do folk have for dressing the space? So today we've um, had the, the space uh, dressed by Enchanted Event, it's a local supplier. Um, but again, um, the options are endless. People can have their chair covers um, or you know flowers, florists, rather than the candle centerpieces. It's a blank canvas, they're more than welcome to you know, to add their own, their own spin on things, but again, we can help with that as well. Now, you called this a ballroom? Yeah. Do we set up for dancing? We absolutely do, yeah. So, we have a, a dance floor that goes down ready for the evening um, and a nice dark room to fit in with the, the bar and the, the rest of the surroundings. Um, or, of course, there's always the, the, the LED dance floors that, that we see quite often now as well. Magic, for those of you who have just joined us, we're at the Hotel de Vin in St Andrews and we're having a show round with uh, Diana here of all the different options they've got. Now obviously remember, if you've got any questions you'd like answered about the venue, the options that are here, the facilities, the sort of flexibility of the venue, then just drop a comment on the video and we'll make sure that Diana answers it. We'll make sure she answers it. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crack space and you can see you've got your dress here with a top table, um, but obviously folk can just set up however they want really. But it's, it's huge and you wouldn't expect it. No, absolutely. Uh, and the guys here, uh, we've got a wedding show on Sunday. Um, so the guys are here who are they're from Through the Looking Glass events. So again, just giving you some other options in terms of... Um, Morning. Good morning. Oh, this looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. And it smells lovely and fresh as well. Uh, yeah, I know. It's, uh, so many people comment when we're doing this about the lovely fresh smell, which is uh, quite interesting because when you're doing it, you can't smell them anymore. <laughs> This is, this is really sweet, and if I can round the back here, trying not to stand on anything, yeah. and get the view out from here of the room. Oh, how lovely is that? That's going to be so sweet for, um, for photos as well, isn't it? I'm just going to come through the, yeah. the arch. So we're going for a really lovely spring palette for this one as well. We do, obviously, all sorts of colour. We'll tie in with um, the tables, but we thought, as it's Mother and Sunday, and um, coming up, we'd go for something very and cheery and light -hearted. Magic. <laughs> um, I've had a question here, uh, yep. Diana, from Kane, who says, do you do wedding fairs? Absolutely. So um, we try and do four a year. Um, next one coming up on Sunday. Um, so This yeah, Sunday coming? This Sunday, so Mother and Sunday. Um, I thought we'd tie it in, an opportunity to bring Mum in and have a look. Um, so yeah, um, and then we try and do another another two later in the year. So usually around kind of um, September time and November will be the next two. And what can folk expect to see on Sunday? So on Sunday we'll have the room uh, dressed very similar um, to, to what it is today, but again, um, some suppliers, so local suppliers, photographers, cake, uh, florists, etc. just um, 
you know, to give some ideas and inspiration. Um, but again, an opportunity just to see the hotel and, and all the other areas, so the Macallan and things that, that we've been unable to see today. And if folk want to come along, what should they do? How can they get involved? So they can either register on Eventbrite um, or just turn up. Um, you know, it's very open, um, so any time, uh, kind of from 11 o'clock onwards, um, and the team will be here just to answer any questions and, and, and keep them posted about what, what we're up to. Magic. Now, since we're here at the hotel, it seems daft not to have a look at one of your rooms. Now, I believe your bridal suites are actually occupied at the moment. Yes, they are. But we could have a look at one room, couldn't we? We, we certainly could, yeah. Shall we? Shall we go through? I'm really glad we had a chance to see that room, though, because you've got this wee intimate space here, just outside the ballroom, so you can shut the doors, and where folk are dancing, you can keep on dancing, but if you just want to catch a breath of fresh air, you can come out here, catch your breath, um, and then you've got all the way through here to the bar. And then those amazing views coming through as well, full look at once we got up to the room. But it's great, it's just really compact and tidy and neat. But you've got so much space yeah. and so much flexibility. It's quite deceiving when you come in the front door. I think yeah. you've actually got such, such, such different spaces as well. Alright, let's go have a look at one of the rooms. How many rooms do you have? So we have 37 in total. Um, and that's a mixture. Um, we can do most of them as twin or double, so we're yep. flexible. Uh, we do have a couple of smaller rooms um, on top of the 37 that have bunk beds for the children. Okay. Oh, they must love that. That's really fun. <laughs> Now we've been up the stairs just now, but presumably you're fully accessible, you've got lift access as well. We do, absolutely. There we go. Now I think the room we're going to be looking at is just to our left here. Right. And the room we're looking in is not this one where the gentleman's working on some electronics. Let's have a wee peek. And I'm just going to be drawn immediately to that view again. <laughs> it's hard not to be. And you're protected from the wind <laughs> yes. in here too. You can see that today is a wee bit blustery. You can see the white horses on the on the waves. But it is just fab. And you've got kids come to the wedding. You can go down and play on the beach. Yeah. Great for photographs as well. Yeah. And then if we step back and turn around and we look at the room itself. Which is really lush, isn't it? It's very comfy and cosy. And all our rooms are very similar in terms of decor. Yeah. Um, so um, refurbished just, just about two years ago. So again, relatively new in the hotel world. Yes. So you've got two suites I think haven't you? Two suites yeah one on the first floor with uh, a large bay window um, obviously making making use of the view and one on the third floor which has some smaller kind of uh, pork type style windows um, but it has a corner window that looks right down over the old course as well so um, two different kind of styles but yeah. uh, fits everybody's taste. They also have uh, roll top baths in the two suites as Lovely. well which, which we're, we're missing in the other rooms but yeah, it's yeah. A, nice, a nice touch. Really really nice. But the, the, the key thing just has to be that view, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I've had a question from Rachel saying, can we see the honeymoon suite? As I say, unfortunately not. The, the two suites that Hotel de Van has are both currently occupied, which is unfortunate. But if you can see from the standard of sort of luxury and comfort in this room, I guess just dial it up a few notches and give it more space for the, the bridal suite. Much more space and obviously, like I say, big bay window uh, with some furnishings in the window. So again, you can, you can sit and, and make the most of, of yeah. that view, yeah. Magic. Well, if anyone's got any more questions, then please do uh, ask them just now. Or, of course, you can always uh, join uh, join in later, ask questions, and we'll make sure the folks from Hotel Divine pick those up and answer them there as well. But, otherwise... That's pretty much it from us here this morning. I hope you've enjoyed your little look around Hotel Divine in St Andrews. Uh, it is a really surprising venue. It looks quite unassuming from the outside, but once you get inside, you see the massive space from the in that ballroom the sheer luxury, the comfort, the coziness, and the flexibility as well to use those spaces however it works for you for your wedding. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again soon at Scotch Wedding Directory. Bye now.